I'm giving you a short uh, glimpse here of ArchiWare P5 software running on DDP hardware and you will see how easy you can configure that um, in a second. So what we have here, we have the four modules that, that we offer. So we have Backup, Backup to Go for workstations. We have Synchronize, which is a cloning solution and it's very attractive and a good fit for GDP hardware. And we have Archive that you can use as Archive to Disk or Archive to Tape. So let's start with uh, Synchronize here. Synchronize can be configured in, in three easy steps. You just define the source where you want to actually grab data, the target where you want to put it, and the interval, um, how often we actually should check for new or changed files. So I'm going to do that here right now. So uh, my data source is going to be one of the uh, local drives here that we have that's also um, running on DDP hardware. Test and the test is the demo and the demo is just drilling down here to the actual contents. So I'm going to define that here. So here you can see now the um, source that we uh, chosen and uh, the next one would be the target. So where we're going to put it, we have one drive here available where we have lots of space. For stone and this is here. So we should actually create a new folder there and we'll call it sync target. So sync target is going to be our folder within that volume here. And then we specify the interval. So right now we suggest that we uh, sync it every hour, that we pick up every new or changed file by the hour. So it takes a little while and now here's the summary. We have this source, this target, this interval and we can start the process right now so that you can see it running. If we start it, um, it switches to monitor. Now we can have the job monitor open here. You would see that we scan now if something would be already um, available at the target that um, so that we would not have to copy the file but since it was empty the um, target directory we can copy immediately here you see the throughput you can even open it here to see what files are being copied right now and this is already the setup for synchronize now this could be huge volumes that we can protect in this way for time critical data so that you have an immediate failover available with all the files all the attributes and everything available to you um, just for switch over you see the, the throughput here right now 135 megabytes a second and that's of course depending on the on the file size and on the network and connection that you have. And um, since the contents are not too big, we will be done, I think, in a number of seconds. So this is really a failover solution where you don't need any restore process, where you can immediately access the secondary um, storage, the target that we um, defined here as a failover for your production system. So if you have a number of people working on the same shared storage, then this is the way to go to enable that they can continuously work even if something goes wrong or stops working, you switch over to the secondary storage and continue working immediately.